Next curve. Hello, everyone. This is Leonard Lee, uh, executive analyst at Next Curve, and I'm here in Dallas, Texas, at the Regent Hyatt. Hyatt Regency, right? Is that that's how you're supposed to pronounce it? That's here. what we're calling it today. Yeah, yep. attending Honeywell Connect 2023. And this is the second year that they're holding this event, and I'm here with Ron McMurtry, who is the CCO, which is the Chief Commercial Officer as well as the CMO of Honeywell Connected Enterprise or HCE. So. Ron, um, I have to thank you for inviting me here first off, and I'm, I'm really glad to be back. I'm really excited to hear what you guys have you know, to say and what you're presenting and all the new stuff that you guys are going to come out with and present here at Honeywell Connect 2023. Yeah, well, thank, well first off, thanks for yeah. your time. Um, I do have one big announcement. I've now okay. managed to get myself just one job, and we have really? a great CMO that's just that's got here at the business, and she sat her hand in most of this event, but I'll, I'll make sure you get some time with Carol. Okay, but, yeah, uh, yeah so I'm, I'm just down to one or two jobs now. But, uh, <laughs> no, uh, Connect is another one of our passions. It's yeah. where we... we where we combine and get together with our customers and we use it as kind of a galvanizing point for bringing our solutions to market mm -hmm. and uh, sharing those. And you know, you were with us last year. Yeah. What were your uh, reflections from last year? Well, I thought it was a really great first go at what I thought was a very strategic event. I know that you guys talk a lot about the importance of software and kind of having that as the, the tip of the spear of where Honeywell is going, going forward you know, really trying to be more solution-based and outcome-oriented. And so I think those messages really came out uh, loud and clear. And, um, you know, I had a chance to have several conversations about what you guys are doing with Forge. And a lot of my audience is actually very interested, right? Because I do a lot of work in industrial, IoT, uh, have a you know, voice in the community. And so they were really curious, hey, what, what's going on with Honeywell? And what are they doing with Forge? Uh, from what I can tell, it's a critical part of your strategy. And so that was the impression that I got. I also like how you guys are taking an inside out approach with Forge, right? And really, rather than pushing on your customers, looking at it as an enable for, uh, enabler for your business groups to then drive um, digital transformation by uh, fostering analytics, and uh, awareness of your customers' operations, and then you know, pushing the value proposition of not only Forge, but more of this solution-based offering that you guys seem to be orienting the business to go to market with. Yeah, well, so I don't know if I got uh, no, that no, right. No, no, it's a lot, but you uh, like we'll <laughs> unpack it in layers. Like Forge is an IoT-centric platform, which is yeah. an application framework for yeah. delivering. We horizontally build SaaS applications and yeah. deploy them across our key verticals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and those are all aligned with the core of Honeywell. Right. And HCE uh, and, and the business that I'm a part of is really exists to work with the core of our business. We're a right. products business, we're a services business, and um, we're a, a solutioning business across the whole of Honeywell. Those business and a projects business, those businesses come together and software provides a wrapper for right. bringing that together. And um, Honeywell Forge is the platform through which we deliver our applications. Yep. And they're deployed such that we can help, because we have three primary things we focus mm -hmm. on, it, digital, digitalization or digital transformation, mm -hmm. sustainability, and of, of course, OT Cyber. Mm -hmm. All are major thrusts for our business and mm -hmm. all align with every part of the areas in which Honeywell's growing mm -hmm. and our customers are telling us their biggest pain points are. Mm -hmm. So for us, um, Forge is that, that capability, those, that, that frame, application framework that lets us yeah. quickly assemble those applications and get them in the hands of our customers. And they're all yeah. heavy. Out. We talk about right. outcomes because everything we do is heavy outcome. You can't yeah. connect sensors, networks, and, and, and solutions and bring that software together right. without it being heavy outcome, heavy ROI right. focused right. A, a service. So Forge uh, is really you know, our brand that we use yeah. to market our software under. It's it's a brand and it's also an outcome based promise we have yeah. and it's also a set of technologies yeah. we built yeah. to pull data in 
and harvest that data, apply AI, and create mm -hmm. solutions for our customers. Right, and that was one of the things that we talked about last year, at least I talked to Kevin Dehoff about last year, was closing that loop, right? That's right. And it, it, it's challenging. You, uh, you have to be able to come to the market and, and to your customers with that holistic um, framework. As, mm -hmm. you're, as you were alluding to. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's, uh, so I'm really interested in hearing about what is Honeywell Connect 2023 going to be about this year. Yeah. Uh, now that a year has passed, you know, since the inaugural event, yeah, so yeah. what are some of those key themes uh, that you're gonna- A couple of cornerstone things. You're gonna hear a lot about OT Cyber. As you know, yeah. we made some investments in, in OT Cyber. You're gonna hear a lot from a product standpoint. Uh -huh. Uh, and new capabilities. We have both uh, a site-based solution and an enterprise-based solution uh, uh, called uh, Cyber Insights mm -hmm. and Watch, and mm -hmm. both those uh, work together and mm -hmm. serve our customers, and there'll be some you know, large release of that and a lot of workshops on it, something all of our customers are calling for. That whole area of OT and IT cyber is converging, yeah. and we believe we have a great solution that helps mm -hmm. bring customers on that journey yeah. and also protects our critical endpoints and helps provide them the monitor they need. The other big theme you're gonna hear is a lot about AI. Oh, okay. And uh, you're gonna hear about AI at the control system level, AI at, at, at the, um, at the worker level, helping our, yeah. the changing workforce evolve and using AI to help take a two-year colleague, uh, function like a 20-year colleague, and help with that. Yeah. And you'll hear about it at the asset, at the, the asset level, whether it's in, in all kinds of assets. So we believe um, our view of domain expertise coupled with the knowledge of how all these different systems perform mm -hmm. provides us, a, and the and the data, which is essential mm -hmm. for any good AI program, that'll be the underpins of, of how we'll bring it together. And we'll, we'll talk about okay. how Forge mm -hmm. is, is evolving that way. You'll see some, uh, our evolution of our branding in that regard mm -hmm. and a uh, big push on our part. Okay, wonderful. Very excited about that. Um, by the way, I'm a huge fan that you st of the fact that you started with Cyber First. Yeah. Right, that's really cool. And one of the things I want the audience to understand here is that, you know, based on the conversations I've had with your engineers and data scientists, when you guys talk about AI, you, you guys really take a practical and uh, critical approach to AI, right? Because a lot of the, a lot of the customers that you serve, that's what they operate, environments and operations that are critical, right? It, it, it's, not, it, it's not good enough to have good enough. Yeah. You're oftentimes being compelled to support critical processes. Yeah, well, if, if, we, critical if we fail in our business, yeah. there's, it's catastrophic. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we, we, we help customers yeah. run their most critical infrastructure, right. and we think of AI has a, a massive important part of how Apple yeah. gets how contemporary software yeah. companies operate. It's, mm -hmm. it's has a very important part of, of how we're thinking about delivering services, mm -hmm. but it need, it's gonna be done in a way that is a, an enabling function and helps, right. and helps right. our services perform better and gives yeah. our customers better decisioning. So yeah. very contemporary approach to it. Right, right. H, HC is a, a critical part of Honeywell's strategy, right? And you know, reinventing itself. Yeah. How, um, how has the pro progress gone so far? I mean, what are some of those things that you guys have been uh, doing to uh, impact your customers? Uh, this year, we moved to a much tighter relationship with across Honeywell. So our we now we go to market as unified teams to create mm -hmm. our outcomes, which has created just a a much easier approach with our customers. Yeah. But uh, in terms of outcomes, you'll hear about one customer, it's mm -hmm. a buildings comp uh, uh, mm -hmm. real estate firm uh, that we're working with and they'll actually be speaking here at the conference where, okay. I mean, we're, we're taking their entire portfolio of buildings and driving, you know, really supersized ROI mm -hmm. through energy management and and, and managing their carbon to help them meet their targets, but also drive great value. So mm -hmm. we'll run their entire portfolio, which, uh, and it's programs like that that are uh, really paying off uh, mm -hmm. for us, because they're, they're not, we're not trying to whittle away building by building, but taking yeah. a much more portfolio view. Mm -hmm. What's really happening is was from a, 
the early parts of HCA where we're mm -hmm. HCI where HC where we're putting applications in place. Yeah. Now that's moving to much more of an enterprise focused sale. Mm -hmm. Partnerships are yeah. playing a greater part of that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to market with our partners to help bring mm -hmm. them in and create much larger solutions also. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, you, you can really notice how cyber is such a critical element yeah. to everything, right? I've heard a lot of things, uh, a, a lot of references to, let's say, agnostic and, uh, you know, to technology and products and being able to cater to some of these heterogeneous environments that you're, you know, these enterprises have. And, and how you guys are enabling that, I, I think um, my audience will definitely be interested in yeah. that because, you know, um, if you guys can really help to st start solving these problems at a large scale for customers, I, I think that's, that's really what's going to grease the wheels for uh, digital transformation, you know, digital reinvention yeah. of a lot of these industries and uh, operations, right? Yeah. We'll get to intelligent operations that are secure, right? That's right, that's right. And you'll hear from Chase while he's here. Chase is our CISO, and he, he'll, I mean, you, what, what you have is you have lots of operators that don't want you to touch some self stuff yeah. at the OT, but you have the CISO that needs yeah. to sign off on these now. Right. And that world's converging, and they're yeah. having to figure out ways to do it, so they need tools yeah. to do that. Yeah. And the tools that we're delivering help yeah. them do that, while also protecting their networks. And so that, that landscape's changing yeah. dramatically and changing quickly. Mm -hmm. In fact, in our own world, Chase mm -hmm. looks at both IT over IT mm -hmm. and OT, and he's mm -hmm. going to talk a bit about that while he's here. And yeah, and so, um, yeah, that's one thing that I'm looking forward to. The other thing, obviously, the sustainability story. Um, that's the other thing that I think is a, a fabric uh, that transverses uh, the, the HCE strategy. You know, folks, I, I've been to several uh, user groups, or hugs, as they yeah. call it. And, um, and so I get to see how you guys are engaging across the different business groups and how you're interfacing with different sectors and sector customers. So, yeah, well, over, over the course of the two days, we have you know, close to 30 product demos, uh -huh. uh, 30 different breakouts, and all of that will come together in terms of how we talk about our solutions. Hug is a little bit different than, than uh, Honeywell Connect. Honeywell Connect is really yeah. decision makers uh -huh. in the sustainability space, in right. the digitalization space, and in the OT cyber space, yeah. and we bring them together uh, for this type of kind of executive forum. Mm -hmm. uh, where our hugs are really users and also mm -hmm. some leaders. Uh, so they're different, kind of different purpose events, but yeah. we bring our applications to each one yeah. of them. But it's, yeah. it, this is uh, what is now the, really the gathering yeah. of all that software within, yeah. within Honeywell. Well, see that, but that's the interesting thing. You guys are present there and they're present here. That's right. And one of the really cool things about this year's event that I noticed is the who's who of Honeywell is attending uh, Honeywell Connect. And um, that's, that seems like a pretty a profound endorsement. Uh, we have an incredible lineup of speakers. Yeah. Um, a majority of the Honeywell leadership team will be here in some form, presenting, participating, as well as all the domain experts across HCE. Yeah. So uh, it just says a little bit about the importance of software and how that will affect the industries we serve and also the importance of it to, to Honeywell overall. Wonderful. So I'm proud to be a part of it. Yeah, and, and you know what? All of you should know that Honeywell Connect is also a great rock and roll event, right? <laughs> Isn't it? You, you guys have something planned this year? As we well? have a we we always I mean, have a little bit. Uh, we always have outrageous. a few surprises. We yeah. like to make sure the guests that come here get a little bit in return, besides yeah. some great business conversation. So, um, Ron, you know, yeah, uh, listen, thank you so thank much you. Yes. for the opportunity to uh, come and. Uh, partake in Honeywell Connect 2023. We're uh, glad to have big you. Big fan of the first one, and I'm sure I'm going to be a big fan of this one. And uh, to our audience, uh, thank you for tuning in, and remember to uh, follow Next Curve at www.next-curve.com. Also, follow our YouTube channel. Follow me, follow Next Curve, and follow Honeywell, and make sure to follow what uh, Ron and team are doing at uh, Honeywell Connect 2023 and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank we'll you. We'll see you.